Hey dudes, so today I want to talk about why Fresh and Fit proceed out of their fight with Abbott and Preach. Now, let me give you a quick uh, history of events here. So, Abbott and Preach had something to say about Fresh and Fit's views on whether a man should pay for bedroom fun. Stupid topic if you ask me. But in any case, Abbott and Preach attack their views on the subject, okay, they didn't attack them as people. Now. Fresh and Fit lost their shit, and uh, they did a response video. Now, Myron was like, we're better than you, we got more women than you, we got more money than you, we're gonna surpass you, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Dumb shit like that, right? Uh, so, then uh, Myron insults Preach's wife, called her a beluga whale. Then both Fresh and Fit thought it would be a good idea to challenge Abba and Preach to a boxing match. God you guys want to fucking box? I'll box both you motherfuckers too. Problem is it backfired because Preach accepted the challenge. And he was like, okay, I'm going to box both of y'all. Now, the funny thing is, after all of that, I was kind of expecting to see something happen. See, Myron is always like, you know, if there's a disagreement between men, sometimes it gets physical. But they didn't go through with it. They fucking pussied out, okay? So, uh, they, af after Preach um, accepted their challenge, Preach was like, yeah, I'm gonna be there next week, let's box. We'll put gloves on, and we're gonna do this shit, right? So, this is what Fresh and Fit did about it. They posted this on their community tab. Listen to this. We apologize to our supporters. From this point forward, we are not going to engage in beef. We are here to help you guys navigate women, fitness, and finances, not drama. We're going to keep giving you guys the content you subscribe for. We apologize for deviating, but we are back on track. Men already get attacked enough in the space, and we are not going to contribute to it. Best of luck to Abra and Preach in their future endeavors. See you guys tonight for Fresh and Fit After Hours, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically they pussy now, right? And the stupid thing is, they doubled down on pussying out a few hours later, later in the day, with a video apology. On this podcast, we talk about accountability, okay? Yeah. And we are not above taking accountability. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, we made a mistake, okay? It is not cool to insult a man's country and or wife live on air. We should have kept the disagreement on the topic and not the people. Yep. Okay? Smart people discuss ideas, stupid people discuss people. And we made a mistake, all right? So with that said... We apologize, okay, for talking about his wife, his country, and making ad hominem attacks on them. They're fellow YouTubers. If we have disagreements, we're going to have disagreements, but the way we went about it was not right, okay? Yeah. So we got to hold ourselves accountable as well. And from this point forward, we're bearing the hatchet. We wish the best to and preach. Yeah, the best, man. We're going to keep making content, giving you guys what you want, and we're going to stay away from the drama. That being said, the boxing, you got our number. Hit us up on the side. You know where we're at. We're in Miami, so let's do it. Yeah. But uh, anyway, with that said, when you make a mistake, guys, you got to acknowledge it. So yep. yeah, it is what it is. Right. Which, again, this is one fucking half-assed apology. Right? Uh, we challenge you to a fight because we think we're better than you. We're stronger than you. We got more girls than we got more money than you. But then we're going to fucking apologize for it. We're not going to stand by what we said. We're going to fucking apologize. And if y'all saw Fresh, it was like, so as far as the boxing goes, hit us up. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know. Okay, bros, here's how that uh, apology should have went, right? If you actually realized you fucked up, and you did fuck up because, you know, uh, before this whole controversy started, they were at 420K subscribers. Last time I checked before I started making this video, they were at 411K subscribers, right? So their own fan base... And they have one of the most loyal fan bases on YouTube. I'm not going to fucking lie. Their own fan base called them out. I'm pussying out. No, dude, this is what the apology of the apology should have sounded like. Okay. We messed up. We shouldn't have talked about the dude's wife or the dude's country. It's on us. Our bad. Okay. Now, we're men. We challenged you to a fight. We're going to get in that ring. Okay? Win or lose. You might be better than me at fighting. I might be better than you at fighting. I'm going to get in that ring with you. Right? I'm a man. I take accountability. And after that fight is over, since I want to bury the hatchet, drinks are on us. That's what the apology should have st sounded like. Not that half-assed shit. Right? You're still pussying out of this. Now, 
Well, let me tell you guys, they actually did the right thing for them, right? From a physical standpoint, let me explain. You see, fresh and fit are not fighters. Real fighters, people that can actually rip your spine out through your throat, don't talk like fresh and fit, they have nothing to prove. So, I know these guys aren't fighters because, you know, I watch their channel, they're fucking entertaining, but I can see their demeanor, I can see their body language, I can see how the way they walk, I see the way they talk. These people don't know how to fight. The point is, people who don't know how to fight, even in a fucking boxing match, which is like one of the safest combat sports you can be in, right, you just punch, you, you, you don't want to get punched in the face, you, you hug the other guy, like fucking... Floyd Mayweather or whatever. This isn't the UFC. This isn't MMA, right? Where they can smash your face in on the ground. This is fucking boxing. Even so, if you are not a trained fighter, you don't know how to take a punch. You don't know how to stay in your stance. Okay? When you don't know how to stay in your stance, you can end up hurting yourself. You can tear off ligaments. I mean, look at what happened to Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier. Dude, dude was actually a trained fucking fighter. One of the best in the world. He broke his foot because he lost balance and he didn't stay in his stance. This shit can happen to experienced fighters. And this dude had no experience. I mean, Fresh himself was like, yeah, we should box because I've been going to the gym lately and I'm feeling pretty good. Look, you dumb idiot. You don't get in a fight with zero experience. I, I, I don't care about the other. You can end up hurting yourself. Preach might not even have to knock your stupid ass out. And the thing is, fresh and fit are aware of this, right? If they knew how to handle their shit, they would have stand by their decision, right? The other thing is, uh, the other reason why they don't, they really didn't want this fight is because they have really, really fragile egos and they didn't want to risk getting their asses knocked out live on YouTube. Now, if I'm being honest with you, the only way uh, Fresh and Fit are going to save any kind of face from this and stop them hemorrhaging subscribers um, is if they actually take the fight. They already did a lot of bitch moves. Like, they deleted their video when they were clowning on ABBA and Preach when they were losing their shit. They deleted that. Um, the uh, apology I read to you, yeah, they deleted that too. If you want to save face, you need to take the fight and win. There is no way you're getting out of this in a... Not even a good way, a neutral way, unless you take the fight and you win. If you take the fight and lose, it's still better for you. You're still going to lose subscribers. I don't know for how long this is going to go on. Preach was already up in their face. They're like, no, 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 no. You don't just get to subscribe, uh, to apologize. You want to do this? I was right here. I'm still here. You know what they said? Oh, I'm going to be here, here. You know what they said? They said, why would we do a two versus one? That doesn't make sense. No, I'm going to take one bitch. And the other bitch. You guys are two bitches. Twin sisters. That's your new name. Not fresh and fit. Twin sisters. Let's go. Abba and Preach still want to do this. Abba actually said, yo, I'm going to give you $20,000, right, just to show up, win or lose. And they were like, uh, $20,000 is peanuts. Bro, in what fucking universe is $20,000 peanuts? No. Anyway, guys. Uh, so that's my whole take on this thing. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.